there's nothing more embarrassing than having to celebrate early while every single person is watching you. It's definitely a joy when it comes to finishing a race first place. Or you thought so. Maybe next time it'll teach these people a lesson to get a bit less excited. Putting their egos aside is a great idea. It will save them from looking like fools. Let's watch people who celebrate it too early. Number 10. The guy with the red boxing gloves. Yeah, that's Joe Harding. Watch him dance and get excited for I don't know what reason until he gets knocked out. And then a jab to follow it up. Again with the jab. Oh! This always sinks! And that's exactly what I said is you don't... Unbelievable! You don't do that kind of stuff. He ends up getting pain for it. Number 9. This one is very funny. This cyclist celebrates one lap early, maybe a little too early, and watch all the other cyclist reactions as they all pass him by. Hier fährt er gleich links raus, der ehemalige Mountainbiker gibt alles hier im für ihn vermeintlichen Finale und reißt kurz vor der Ziellinie den Arm hoch zur Siegerpose, allerdings eine Runde zu früh, Kopfschütteln bei der Konkurrenz, auch bei Fabian Wegmann, öderweise geht das Rennen aber noch weiter und im Grunde jetzt erst richtig los. Also, das wird eine Anek Number 8. The red team volleyball players thought it was done and over. They even celebrated their victory in a huddle. Not until they missed the last shot while they were busy and no one was looking. Number 7. This track racer not only was embarrassed that he celebrated too early, but he also got injured in front of thousands of people. You are an Iron Man! Joe Sheeter! You're an Iron Man, Joe! Douglas Scott! Roseville Park, New Jersey, you are an Iron Man. Jennifer Warrath from Idaho, you are an Iron Man. Daniel Gordon. Number six. Having a huge ego doesn't always end on a happy note. You'd never want to celebrate too early unless you are sure. This NFL football player thought he scored prior to reaching the goal line. Including Hakeem, who has come in the sixth. Orton going deep. He's got Watkins. And buckle up. There he goes. And Hakeem brings him down. He just Number 5. On the Price is Right show, this woman thought she won, but ended up looking kinda ridiculous after her big excitement. Also, the reaction from the crowd afterwards were very funny. Number 4. Sometimes getting close to the finish line, we hope of something bad doesn't happen. Well, this is what happened with this runner. This guy gets tangled up in a pole vault at the final stretch of a race. Watch as the guy next to him smirking as he won the odds. We have Niall Atwood to the front. DCU in second. Paul Peppard. It's neck and neck. Oh! Oh my god! Neck and neck! Jenny Mac! We have the bloody pole from the... He will have to get through to the final based on that. I have never seen that on athletics. He was tied up like Spider-Man threw something at him. Number 3. A long victory pose was probably not the best for this guy. Just as he was about to win the finish line, he thought he was all set. For a while, he didn't even look around while the other racer finished first. He probably still thinks he won till this day. Number 1. If you've made it this far, you might as well subscribe and turn on post notifications. You will have a greater chance of becoming rich in life. 
There is nothing more than watching Gordon Ramsay humiliate people with horrible cooking skills. This lady thought she was the best at cooking, but just wait until what he had to say. The egg for you. Congratulations. Thank you! On the worst dish in this competition so far.